the dough man gets bagels. <laughs> What's going on everybody? So we got the V-Core, the new 100. We're gonna test that out today. 300 grams, 16 by 19, 100 square inches. We're also gonna compare it to the V-Core 98. So obviously 98 square inches. We've got 305 grams unstrung and uh, 16 by 19 as well. In the rackets, uh, this one was strung with the uh, Polito Pro at 46. Also at 46, we got the Polito Rev in the uh, V-Core 100. This actually, the design with the uh, flatter on top, narrow at the bottom here, reminds me of the Wilson Sledgehammer. You guys are gonna be uh, too young out there to uh, know what I'm talking about. Looks looks a little bit weird, but if it plays well, who cares, right? Let's do it. And helping me today, we got a couple high rollers here. Andrew, how are you? Good. All right, what do you play with? I play with the V-Core Pro 100. V-Core Pro 100, and uh, the string in there? It is the Polytor Rev 17 gauge, strung at 50 string tension. All right, very good, 50 pounds. And uh, Andrew is a 14 and under uh, freshman high school varsity player and a UTR around seven. Very yeah. good. And uh, Coach Kevin is back, and he's still got the class. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so you still the same string? Hawk Touch 17 at 46. 46 pounds. All right, let's test it out. Let's go. Let's do it. Personally, I have no history with Yonex. Never played with one in my entire career. They just weren't that available where I grew up in Northern Europe. And my earliest memory of a Yonex racket was the RD7. I remember Cuchera, Marcelo Rios played with it, also Sergio Bouguera. Actually, I always wanted to try and maybe switch to one of their rackets, but never got around to it. So I'm excited about doing this review, and we decided to throw in the V-Core Pro 100 since we had it right there. And later on, I will give my opinions about all three rackets. I can tell you right now, one I really liked, one I really disliked, and the other was just okay. Andrew and Kevin also ranked the three frames, and we were not all in agreement. As we were hitting here, the players on the court next to us wanted to join in. Now there are students in our program and also employees of the club here, and we decided to have some fun and play our favorite drill, which is a two-court weave, kind of king and queen of the court. You play three points, and the winner becomes the champion, of course. But if you lose all three points, you not only rotate out to the other court, you have to do 50 crunches. This way it gets nice and personal, and of course the coaches do not want to get bageled by their students. Nice point, Lexi. How'd you get to the net that fast? <laughs> Sneaks in again. The dough man gets bagels. <laughs> Look at this. We got Battle of the Sisters. Oh, Ooh. good point. Who do we got here? <laughs> <laughs> the Grunge Cam. <laughs> <laughs> it's all <crazy. laughs> The radical doing crunches. Let's go. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> oh, not again. Got a coach. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're done with trying the rackets, what do you think? Yeah, um, I liked them both. I definitely preferred the V-Core 100. I just felt like it had, like first shot I hit went like a foot long and I went, whoa, all right. I don't have to go for as much on the pace. I, I felt like I could just spin a little bit, kind of relax. I liked the feel. This one felt like it was more controlled, but I didn't feel like it got much from the racket. And so uh, I would prefer to have a racket that kind of helps me and I can relax than to have to come up with extra pace. I'm not a player who likes to just swing out. Okay. So I prefer to this one. So you're choosing the V-Curl 100 and everybody out there want to know, are you getting rid of the class or you uh, could you see yourself uh, moving to something like this? Uh, I think it's a negative for today. <laughs> yeah, maybe not the yet, class. you know. Uh, Flash, uh... Hey, we'll keep working on it. Okay, Andrew, tell me a little bit about what you think about uh, the 98 or the uh, 100. So I prefer the 100 because okay. it gives you a little bit more effortless power and it feels better. This one does have more control, but you're really lacking the power. Well, how will you compare those two to your uh, V-Core Pro 100? So this one, has, this one has a lot more power than it. And this one has less power, so it kind of meets in the middle of both rackets. So uh, if you have to rank these three rackets now, what do you think? I would go number one, my racket, number okay. two, this one, and number three, this one. This paint job is better than the one last year. You like the paint job better than uh, this? I think they're both equally as good. I think okay. they're both good. Hey, but we got the matching strings, though. Yeah. That's commitment. Hey. And Kevin, what do you think about the V-Corp Pro 100? Yeah, so paint job, a hundred out of a hundred. I love you it. Love that one. I love purple anyway. I love the matching bag. I will say I probably preferred uh, the V4 100 um, okay. to either of these two. I just like the comfort of it. So your overall winner today is the V4 100. Yeah, for sure. Got it. Thank you. Let's go over my ranking of these rackets. My number one will be V-Core Pro 100. I can feel the ball better and control the ball uh, while not losing too much power. So I'm a fan of this racket. I really want to try and customize it a bit to see if it can get in my top three overall picks, which right now are the Pure Drive Tour, my custom Extreme Tour, and the T-Fight ISO 305. My number two pick is the V-Core 100. Just a nice, comfortable frame with ease of use but lacking some feel and responsiveness for my liking and my playstyle. It was more of a hitting slash teaching racket rather than an actual match play racket. The Vcore 98, I didn't like at all, just straight up trash. It was stiff, it was dull with no feel or pop. And I actually tried it again in a high level hitting lesson of mine and my arm just was dead after that session. So no dice for the Vcore 98. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time where we will try some extended rackets. Take care. <laughs> yeah, you have to leave. Take 19. Yeah, that makes <laughs> okay, you're gonna check that. Check that. Alright, good job, boys. Thanks for being in the video. Bueno. <laughs> 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 <laughs>